In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an old dated hutch and create a custom blended finish. I'm sitting here in my backyard on my swing, my favorite spot in the house. The weather is amazing, it's beautiful out, and I am enjoying this weather and the view. I love to sit back here because it reminds me of when I first met my husband. He would bring me to his house for a visit and we would sit back here and just talk and talk for hours and hours. And he would always put a little fire on and we would just enjoy the time together and getting to know each other. I had no idea. <laughs> Once we got married, life got so hectic and busy. We started volunteering more in church and we just didn't have the time. We started renovating the house, which we're still not finished. And we just don't always get the chance to come back here. But thanks to recent situations, we've been able to come back here and enjoy time together as a family have bonfires, just sit out here for hours and talk. And I've been painting back here as well, which I have really enjoyed. I just grabbed some colors. I knew I wanted boho for sure. And I thought about Salty Kiss maybe. And I just started slapping some paint on, no rhyme or reason. And I painted the bottom part first. I painted from the bottom, Bohemian Blue. Then I added Salty Kiss, then Water Lily, and Skeleton Key, and I just watched it for a bit. And then I sprayed a little bit of Hey Sailor. It was watered down in a bottle, spray bottle, and I just let it sit there. I think the key to making blending easy and effortless is using a water bottle. I prefer to use a fine mist sprayer. I also think a key to making it work is to use a blending brush. Here I'm using the DIY Paint Blending Brush. Paint Pixie has created this. They are made in Italy and these brushes are amazing. Paint Pixie also has the version made with natural bristles. The DIY Paint version is with synthetic. But going over it smoothly with the water bottle is the key to making it work. And so one of the pieces that I've painted is this hutch. I had always wanted a hutch. I couldn't find one that I liked and I actually forgot that I had it. I had purchased this along with several other pieces from a friend. Um, his father had passed away and so I purchased it in bulk, forgot all about it because I had run out of room in the house. Our house is overflowing with furniture and smalls and mirrors and just knickknacks, everything in paint and supplies. And we went, had to go ahead and buy a trailer because we couldn't fit it anymore, we couldn't walk. And I was really trying to use my studio, my living room as my studio. So we purchased the trailer, put everything in there, and recently I've had so much time in my hands, so I've been painting back here because the weather's been amazing. I sanded down the top of the buffet and I did a custom mixture of old and gray and dark and decrepit and I faux stained it. I love using the patinas as a stain, the dark and decrepit and the old and gray. Those are my go-tos for staining. I no longer use harsh chemicals because why would I? See how white paint is amazing and it's toxic free. It's no VOCs, no plastic, it's, there's no smell. And I absolutely love it. And so I stained it. Once you clean your piece, you can tell right away if it's gonna bleed. The bottom I didn't have a problem with, but the top seemed to me like it was gonna bleed. There was something on there, some cleaning product or maybe smoke 
tannins, I don't know what it was. So I went ahead and I used our brand new product, Salvation Solution, which is a primer and it kills and blocks stains and odors. And so I painted one coat of that all over the top and then after it dried the next day, I went ahead and I started painting this piece from the top down. I used Bohemian Blue, I used Water Lily, and then I blended in below that crinoline. It takes some time and effort using the water bottle, using your brush to make the perfect blend. The perfect blend is what you think is perfect. My go-to, my new absolute favorite product is Pennies from Heaven. And so I painted all of the hardware and the hinges and I used my squirt bottle and let it drip down and let it um, just, just build a coppery goodness layer on the crevices and in the, the nooks and the crannies of the hutch. And I really love the way that it turned out. And then I put a coat of clear wax over the entire thing. And then once it was dry, I added some black wax in certain places because years ago, I used to watch Training Spaces. Did you watch that on TLC? Every Saturday. And there was a designer on there that said, you always wanna have black in your room or in your, in your um, decorative place so that it will ground the room. And it just triggered with me. I love black. I used to have a black lacquer bed. I All my clothes were black. My fingernails were black. My toes were black. Um, I've painted my hair, I've dyed, well, painted, I've dyed my hair black. I love, love black. I still wear a lot of black clothes. And um, there was a time period where all my furniture was black, everything. My eye just gravitated to black. Um, um, I've gotten better. I like color now, but I do like to have a little bit of black in mixed in with my pieces, especially when we're talking about dark wax. I love the way that it grunges it and it just grounds it and makes it interesting and just really finishes the piece. I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please comment below and let me know what your favorite DIY product is. Have you ever painted a hutch? Or have you ever used the colors that I've used? If you want to purchase any of these products, you can hit me up at chalkitupwithlisa.com. I hope that you'll subscribe to my emails while you're on my website checking it out. And you can also look at my blogs. There you'll find devotions, inspirationals, and also tutorials. If you subscribe to my email, you'll be the first to know on all the things that are new that is coming. I'll go ahead and I'll tell you now that if you're local, I will be moving to Now and Then on 575 McCoy Avenue. It is gonna be my new location where I'll have all the DIY products and IOD, Iron Orchid Designs. And just now, I've been approved to become a Royce Cycled Treasures tissue um, retailer. So I'm really excited about that because I will be using all of these products for my upcoming workshops that will be held at Now and Then. So you, you're local, you're gonna want to stay informed and receive my email so that you can know when the classes are gonna start. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm always Chalk It Up With Lisa. I hope that you have a great day, a blessed time. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope that I will hear from you soon because I want to connect with you. Have a great day.